Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. From the previous lecture sa series na ito, natutunan po natin na mahalaga na ang mga data ng LGU ay machine readable upang agarang makakuha ng mga impormasyon na makakatulong sa mabilis na pagtugon sa pangangailangan ng komunidad. Nakita rin po natin kung paano ang electronic data collection methods ay makakatulong sa mas mabilis, mas accurate, mas secured, pero less costly na data collection. Pagkatapos, tayo din ay naturuan na dapat ang nakakolekt ng data ay reliable dahil dito nakasalalay ang effectiveness ng policies and programs. Ngunit, paano ba malalaman kung gaano kahanda ang ating LGU sa pag-adopt ng ganitong mga pagbabago? Ang ating LGU ba ay may sapat na kakayanan upang ipatupad ang mga reforma sa data management? Ano ba ang dapat ng mga paghahanda upang ipatupad ang mga nasabing reforma? To help answer these questions, sa lecture na ito, we will discuss about data audit or data maturity assessment. This lecture will focus on four points. First, the motivation for data maturity assessment. Next, I'll discuss the data maturity assessment framework as a tool to help organizations conduct a self-evaluation on their data readiness. Based on this framework, I'll introduce a very simple, rapid data maturity assessment tool which the LGUs can use. Finally, some ideas and tips on how LGUs can level up their data readiness. Data readiness is a process. To realize the vision of empowering LGUs through data, LGUs need to constantly embrace a data culture that is suited to their needs and requirements. This leads us to the importance of assessing the organization's data readiness. LGUs may recognize the value of data, but may be uncertain whether they are adequately equipped to make valuable use of them or ready for data initiatives. Dito makakatulong ang data maturity assessment. First, ito ay isang paraan for LGUs to understand the readiness and maturity for intelligent use of data. Second, ito ay makakatulong sa pag-identify ng gaps in data readiness or areas where organizations could improve. Third, it helps LGUs decide on how they can improve or become more data ready in the future. The Data Maturity Assessment Framework This framework was recently developed and is currently being used in India in relation to their Data Smart City strategy. Under this framework, local governments are assessed on two key pillars, systemic maturity and sectoral maturity. The systemic maturity pillar measures the ability of an LGU to implement data strategies from the perspectives of policy, people, process, technology, and outcomes. The focus is on having a robust data governance mechanism along with the supporting institutional structures. Sectoral maturity pillar measures the ability of local governments to harness the power of data by focusing on availability, usage, shareability, and control management of data. This pillar is about the availability of data itself and its use in decision-making. Ngayon, titignan naman natin kung gaano ka-relevant ang bawat pillar and component of the framework to achieve the purpose of the assessment. We'll start with systemic maturity pillar, which has five key components. First is policy. There are two important elements measured under the policy component. One is the existence of robust policy mechanisms in the LGU and then the presence of necessary annual budget to support the implementation of data policy and data-related activities. Ang data policy ay mahalaga as it acts as a frame of reference for all data initiatives undertaken by the LGU. For instance, data collection, storage, processing and analysis, publishing, and more. Adopting a data policy is among the first steps towards successful data governance. Of course, all these initiatives need to be supported by appropriate budget. There must be annual budget dedicated for any activity which contributes to the enhancement of data maturity. The emphasis is on utilization of funds 
rather than just allocation. Next, the people component. People are at the core for successful implementation of any strategy. So this component assesses the presence of empowered city officials with the capacity to guide development of data policy, manage data governance, drive interdepartmental and interagency data exchange, and build data alliances. A reliable team of experts who understands data and can complement each other is the primary need of any LGU in improving their data maturity. So there has to be a data officer, appointed data coordinators, and a dedicated data team in every LGU. The data officer will act as a single contact for all data-related activities, and he will lead in setting up a data culture in the LGU. Data coordinators should be assigned in all departments to support interdepartmental data flows. To help ensure that members of the data team are aware of LGU's initiatives and are equipped to guide how the objectives of these initiatives can be achieved, capacity building activities are needed. Next is the process component. There must be a standardization of processes of data governance for keeping of data security and privacy, eliminating data silos, facilitating seamless data exchange, and collecting quality data. This component also measures the application of analytics tools in the LGU. Another component is technology. Here, the quality and robustness of LGU's ICT infrastructure and digital platforms are evaluated. Effective use of technology enables LGU achieve their data targets. Finally, while efforts are being made in setting up a foundation for data, it's important to see the impact that these efforts are creating. In this component, LGUs will be assessed on how the data initiatives are improving the lives of the citizens. So here are the key points for systemic maturity assessment. Under policy component, the important elements to be measured are data policy and budget utilization of the LGU. For people component, it is whether there is an appointed and empowered data team. For process assessment, there must be a standardized process for data governance and data analytics is institutionalized in the LGU. For technology, it's on having digital platforms and digitized services for the citizens. Finally, the assessment of the quality of impact or outcomes of the innovations, whether they result to improved living conditions of the citizens. Moving on to the sectoral maturity pillar. This measures the ability of cities to harness the power of data by focusing on four aspects. Data availability, usage, shareability, and control management. The effectiveness with which problems are solved will also depend on the maturity of data systems, governance, and collaborations among stakeholders. So these are covered in the sectoral maturity pillar. First is measuring the availability of real-time reliable systemic data in the LGU. Next is the effective use of data to improve governance. Then the shareability of data or the interdepartmental and interagency data sharing practices, machine readability of data sets, and publication of data. Lastly, for data management component, it measures how data access is managed and the controls over various data sets in the LGU. And here are the key points for the sectoral maturity assessment. The availability and speed of quality data, the use of data for strategic decision making, data accessibility or internal and external data sharing, and lastly, existence of infrastructure, support systems, and control processes that are essential to managing data. Based on the framework, 
titignan naman po natin ang Rapid Data Maturity Assessment Template na ginawa ng AER in partnership with Serolytics. Ang template na ito ay very simple. Here's how it looks like. Basically, we have the assessment question sa isang sheet and then dashboard feature in another sheet. Ang template na ito ay nahahati din sa dalawang sections for systemic maturity part and sectoral maturity part. As you can see, we have measurement areas and corresponding questions for each component. Ang answer sa bawat question has assigned points or rating which are summed up to come up with the data maturity level ng LGU. If you want to see how the scores are computed, we can provide you a copy of the scoring instructions. For a policy component, the measurement areas and questions are related to developing a data policy and budget allocation for data-related activities. Most of the questions are answered by yes or no. For people component, the questions are related to data personnel count and capacity building activities. For process, the questions are about standard processes and type of data analytics practiced in the LGU. For technology component, the assessment questions relate to the LGU's access to technology infrastructure and different types of ICT tools. Finally, the outcomes part, it includes questions on how LGUs inform the public about their data initiatives. Dito sa sectoral maturity part, meron din tayong measurement areas and corresponding questions for each component. For availability, it includes measurement of diversity of available data in the LGU and timely collection process. For usage, the questions are about internal and external access to data and use of data analytics in the LGU. For shareability, the measurement areas are related to data sharing process and data set publication. For management component, we have measures for data control, retention, and continuity plan in case of data loss or system failure. All the responses are collected, computed, and then visually displayed dito sa dashboard feature ng template. Here, we can easily see the maturity assessment both in systemic and sectoral parts, then the overall maturity level of the LGU. Ang advantage nito ay nakikita natin agad on what areas we need to improve, what adjustments to make to get to a higher level of data maturity na target ng ating LGU. Ano ba ang different levels of data readiness? Beginner level. If dito napabilang ang isang LGU, it implies that the LGU is aware of the possible improvements that will be required to impose data-driven governance and is ready to march ahead in its data journey. Initiator level. The LGU is beginning its data journey by establishing procedures and roles to manage data initiatives. So, ibig sabihin, para mapabilang sa level na ito, perhaps, Si LGU ay meron ng some members of the data team and digital platforms for open sharing of data. Next is Explorer level. Dito, si LGU has built data governance structures to help them better plan for tackling development challenges. Perhaps, dito naman si LGU ay may draft na ng data policy or is getting it approved with all the components mentioned, like data classification, categorization, archival and retention, approval framework, plus some members of the data team in place or my data officer na. Then, the enabled level. The LGU is already using data to identify issues and challenges within the community. So, dito naman, aside from having approved data policy and members of the data team in place, Nakapag-start na si LGU conducting capacity building activities, build strong data alliances with stakeholders, at meron na ding analytics capability. Finally, connected level. Ito ang highest level of data maturity. Here, 
the LGU has successfully made policies and delivered services in an effective way, so they are already reaping the benefits of data-driven governance. So, how can LGUs level up their data readiness? Here is the proposed assessment cycle. The LGU may conduct a first round of data maturity assessment. Then, analyze results, set programs and goals or strategies on how to implement the improvements, then take time to actually implement them. Then, conduct another round of data maturity assessment. If there are further improvements to make, the LGUs may repeat the process until the desired maturity level is achieved. Tips to achieve a higher level of data maturity First, LGUs must perform a really honest self-evaluation. Next, there should be an established assessment period so we have target dates for implementation of improvements. Third, LGUs must build preparedness and capabilities to implement sustainable data strategies. And fourth, LGUs must really work well with internal and external stakeholders. In summary, the data maturity assessment can help LGUs with, first, continuous improvement in data culture. It allows LGUs to perform gap analysis based on the scores in one cycle undertake improvement measures, and see corresponding results in the next cycle. Next, adoption of emerging technologies. The assessment will help LGUs identify their technological needs. Third, formation of multi-layered partnerships. The assessment will also help identify opportunities to involve the government, data experts, society organizations, academe, and citizens. Fourth, fostering innovation. The intensive and extensive use of data can lead to reforms and innovations in governance. Finally, data-driven governance. With proper data use in decision-making, it can help LGUs achieve desired development outcomes. I hope you enjoyed the lectures and learned a lot today. If you're interested to have your LGU assessed by the project's data team, feel free to send us an email.